cameras, the lights, action. <laughs> That's us. Action. What do you think, Lise? I think here we are with our real estate update. Absolutely. Our top story today is what is your strategy to sell your house in 2021? That's right. have several uh, uh, options but we are going to cover the top three strategies today for selling your house in 2021 what is your plan that's right okay <laughs> all right we got that out there that, that's the groundwork we've got uh -huh. three different strategies for you to sell your home in 2021 the first one is what if you're going to upsize mm -hmm. you need to buy a larger home have you found that during covid that you need uh, another bedroom, you need an office, you need to be able to shut the door, the kids are homeschooling, and you just need a bigger home for whatever your reasoning is or your new life plan is, and you need a bigger one. That's an option. So what are you going to do? Do you need to sell the current home you have now? Um, do you need to get pre-approved? You know, where are you in that process? Well, a lot of homes on the market right now, the national average is receiving three offers. So some of them a lot more than that. So, how are you going to compete? What's your strategy to absolutely secure the home of your dreams or the home you want to live in, the home you want to move to, the upsized property that you're going to buy? Mm -hmm. So, do you, if you need to sell your home first, there's a couple things. Maybe you sell your home because you need the cash to buy a new home. And with, like Gary's saying, the competitive market right now, Maybe you need to rent back. Maybe you need to sell your home and close the escrow so you have your money to go write an offer, but you want to stay in your home. Well, that's a possibility. You can negotiate a rent back with your buyer that you can stay in your home for X amount of time while you look for a new home. Yes, and hopefully the home comes on the market at the right time. Uh, it is a strategy. It's that strategy where you do stay in your home usually has an end date. So that's a strategy that can work, doesn't always work, but uh, the strategies that have been working out is very well are the people that are moving in with their family, brother, sister, mom and dad, even a child, you know, obviously old, old enough to have their own place. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you need to have a strategy. If you're gonna upsize, what's your plan? Yeah, and the strategy to do a contingent offer is a strategy. However, if a home is receiving multiple offers, your offer is probably gonna end up at the bottom of the pile without some special circumstances for sure. Yeah, we just heard of an offer today. Um, a client wrote an offer out of state and there were 12 offers and they weren't even necessarily contingent, but they were going to be getting a loan. Well, three of those 12 offers were, were cash. It's already $100,000 over asking and guess what? They didn't get it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Now there are things, such things as bridge loans, where you take out a loan on the equity in the property that you have now, you use that money as a down payment to buy the house that you're going to buy or move up to in the upside scenario, and then you sell your home, and then you pay off your bridge loan and all the, the loans associated with that. That's not an expensive way to do it, but that is a way to do it. That's right. That is possible, and bridge loans are coming back. We've heard from a couple of our lenders that they are doing it given the market sit, uh, situation that people um, need to get a bridge loan to buy their new home before they can sell their old home. Yeah, and the short explanation of bridge loan, basically you're just taking out the equity in the home you have right now on a loan and you're applying that equity to your new home. That's that, right. Would that be the easiest that's way to right. describe that? Yep, that's the easiest way to describe <laughs> that. <laughs> kind of like a specialty of home equity loan. <laughs> yes, yes. <very laughs> With a different name. <laughs> yes, well it's purpose, you know, so the purpose of the loan so that doesn't tie you up on the loan on the property that you're buying and doesn't tie you up on the property that you're selling. If you were to go get a second mortgage and then do that, it's going to be a little bit trickier because you not only have to qualify for the loan and the second mortgage that you put on your first house, then you have to qualify for the loan on your new house. So that is the difference of the terminology on the bridge loan. Thank you. <laughs> Number two strategy, are you moving out of state? A lot of people moving out of state. California came in number 50 on the U-Haul survey this year, which means people are leaving California. That's so right. you are planning on moving out of state. You're going to sell your home first before you go and get your cash, or are you going to move to your new place and rent a place maybe while you decide where you want to live? 
because maybe you've never lived in this new place you're moving out of state before, and it might be a strategy to go there and rent so you can get a feel for the different neighborhoods and, and figure out where you want to go. Maybe you're moving and you want to buy a home and a vacation home in your new place, or maybe you're going to move somewhere and just buy a vacation home and live in a resort place. <laughs> Or if you're moving out of California, you have a lot of equity, and a lot of people in California right now have a lot of equity. Let's say you move to a different state, and then you buy a duplex, triplex, fourplex, something like that. That's going to absolutely make your payment on the house you're buying if you're not paying cash for it, and set you up for more retirement income. So you can take the equity in California, put it in another state, in two properties, have one paying for the other. That's Sounds like a pretty good strategy to me. That's right. And then our third uh, option, if you're making a plan, is maybe you're going to downsize. Maybe it's time. Maybe you've been in your home for many, many years and you're ready to downsize, either to a single story or just a smaller home. So the first step to that is you need to start uh, clearing your space and getting rid of some things. So you set up your, you know, the four things. You set up your uh, recycle, uh, trash, sell and um, keep uh, piles. So you've got your four things and you can start getting rid of your things and selling them, recycling them, giving them away. And maybe you have to call your kids and tell them it's time for them to come home and get their treasures. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how many treasures that the parents think they have and the kids see no value in them. We see that all the time. Well, and the kids have left their treasures and moved on and left them with mom and dad. <laughs> now they need to come and get rid of them. Yes, sometimes so. they're live treasures like dogs and cats. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um, can you buy your, your downsizing home without sell, uh, selling your home? That's the best case scenario that you can go and buy a smaller home and keep your current home. Then you can buy your new home, uh, close the escrow, fix it up, paint, carpet, whatever you need to do to fix it up, and then move into that, get settled, and then you can deal with getting your house you want to sell cleaned up and, re and ready and vacant and ready to go. Yeah, there should be a lot of properties, I would think, as we come up on April 1st, and that's when California Prop 19 kicks in, where you can take your property tax base any county in California. That's right. So the April 1st date is coming on Proposition 19 that passed. You can transfer your tax base. So if you have any questions about that, we'd be happy to answer them. So give us a call if you're waiting for the um, tax base, uh, transferring your tax base anywhere in California. It's coming April 1st. That's next week, if you can believe it already. And then another idea on downsizing and getting your payment secure is taking advantage of these low interest rates. They're still at record lows, around 3%. So if you're trying to set yourself up for retirement and you want to guarantee what your payment's going to be on your housing, then now's a great time to take advantage of the interest rates. It is a historically low interest rate. So mm -hmm. between 3 and 4% just a few years ago, unheard of. Yeah. Now it's very commonplace for people to refinance uh, not only their home they're living in, their investment properties. There's a lot of refinances and purchase finances going on. People that are actually buying properties. Yep, so those are our three strategies for moving in 2021. Upsize, downsize, and moving out of state. If you have any questions, want to talk about what your plan is, um, give us a call. Of course, we love to talk about re real estate. We love your questions here. We'd love to answer them here on the show. And you know where you can always find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks for watching. And if you're watching the replay, Hashtag re, uh, re, replay and put any questions in here, and we'd be happy to answer them even after the show. Thanks for watching. That's right. It's a wrap.